Hello everybody and welcome back to Options Made Simple. We're moving into class number six and that means we're going to be talking about closing your trades. So here's our agenda for this lesson. We're going to talk about closing the option trade, various ways to close the trade, and then we're going to talk about setting stops and we'll wrap it up with some homework. So let's start talking about closing the trade. When we're looking at option trades, closing the trade is really as simple as taking the opposite of whatever we did to get into the trade. So the easiest way to think about it is just doing that very thing I just said, the opposite of whatever you did to enter the trade. If you buy to open, you will sell to close. And if you sell to open, you're gonna buy to close. Remember, we can get into option trades by buying to open. And if you do that, you're just gonna to sell to close to get out of the trade. You can also open a new option trade by selling to open, for example, with a covered call or a naked put. And if you wanna close that trade out, we're simply gonna do the opposite. We're gonna to buy to close. Think about it this way, we're just offsetting the positions. That's really the easiest way to think about it. And if you can understand that principle, then closing the option trade becomes really second nature to you. So here's what you need to think about. Every trade needs an offset. And if you offset more than you initially got into, then you'll just end up with a deficit in the other direction. So look at some kind of principles here. Let's say your starting balance is zero and you go out and buy three call options. Well, your new balance is you're gonna have three calls. Well, if you go close the trade, to close the three calls that you bought, you need to sell the three calls. That's, that's pretty basic common sense. You buy three calls, you go sell three calls, now you're back to an ending balance of zero. Okay, let's do another one here. Let's start with a short trade. Let's say that we open the trade up with zero. That's our starting balance. We open the trade up by selling three call options. Now your new balance is minus three calls. Now why does it say minus three? Because you're in a short position. You sold those calls. You have an obligation that's tied to it. Now understand, we'll talk more about this in Options Made Simple too, but understand whenever you sell an option, you're technically called short, you're in a short position, kind of like when you short a stock, but there's a difference. You don't owe the, the option like you do whenever you short a stock. When you short a stock, you owe the stock back. When you short an option, you just simply have an obligation that's tied to that because we sold the option. We sold the rights, so now we're obligated. So it's gonna show up in your balance sheet as a negative, uh, because you're short those, those positions, but uh, again, it's not the same as being short of stock. Similar, but a little bit different here. And so if we sell three call options to open the trade, our new balance is minus three calls. So to close the trade, how do we add three calls? Well, we just go buy three call options. So we go buy three call options, our new ending balance is zero. See, it's pretty straightforward. But now let's watch what we can do with some trading platforms. With some platforms, they don't make you do an even number. So you may start off with a balance of zero, and maybe you sell three put options. We would call that a naked put. So you go out and sell three put options. Now you got three minus three options, minus three puts in your account. If you wanna offset that, we gotta go buy some. But what if you go and you only buy two? Well, if you only buy two, what's our new balance? Our new balance is gonna be minus one put. And so this is the way that this, this works. If you wanna go ahead and offset the additional one, what do you have to do? You have to go buy one more to close the trade. So this, the principle here of offsetting or closing out your option trade is simply doing the opposite of what we did to get into the trade. Let's do one more example here. Let's say we start the trade by buying three put options. And so now our new balance is we've got three puts, but what if we came behind it to close it and the transaction we did was sell four puts? Well, if we sell four puts, three of them close out the initial three that we had, and then the new one is gonna give us a net deficit, so we're minus one put. Does that make sense? And so again, the principle here is just do the opposite of what we did to get into the trade. You wanna balance that out. If you buy one to open, you need to sell one. If you sell one to open, you need to go buy one. And if you sell an odd number from what you purchased, then the deficit or the uh, remainder, however you do the math there, is gonna show up in your account as part of the balance.